All right, folks. So, I've been a little bit busy. Like I've been saying for like all these different videos. And believe you me, I've been pretty busy. But, but today, I watched Kamen Rider Revice. It's the first uh, Kamen Rider uh, show I'm watching concurrently. Yes, with fan subs, but... I actually like it. Like, like the, like the, like the beginning angle is pretty nice. We got a character. We got a character who kind of wanted to be a common writer to save his family, while his like brother was like, "I can't, can't do it," and like he just couldn't do it. But his like other brother could. And he has like a little demon, he has like a little demon, like inner demon that kind of like, like an actual inner demon that like comes out and does stuff. Like, I'd say he's going to be the comic relief, but he's also like a sidekick character with this new Kamen Rider. I, lo I love it. The villains, they pull out inner demons. And they kind of look like, uh, like. I think it's more of a day of the day kind of thing they're going for, but I I don't I don't really know. But they do have this. Their whole end goal is to summon their uh, their their lord and master, and it's just kind of it's it's very interesting. They're just like pulling people's inner demons out for like more, for like you know for havoc and stuff. And they're actually choosing people to be common writers, so. That's interesting too. I'm, you know, and I just had like a blast. I had such, I had such a blast. And yet, and I am gonna place that Sailor Moon poster with like a Common Rider poster. I don't know which though. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just been pretty like, um, this is never like. No Kamen Rider show has never made me want to do this, except for maybe, like, Kamen Rider O's, which will always be my favorite, with Kuga, Kamen Rider Kuga being uh, second. But, Revice could be a favorite of mine. And there's a lot of Kamen Rider, and I may do a, I may do a bunch of freaking reviews on certain episodes that I like. So, stay tuned for that. Um, again... What I, what I think so far, I oh, has me interested. It piques my interest. Um, you know, it's a very, it's a, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting premise, and I'm down for whatever. Also, the family kind of has him as kind of a. The family kind of treats him as sort of kind of a screw, uh, kind of a screw up, a helpful screw up, but kind of still like a screw up. So there's a lot of underdog vibes there too. But as the first, but as the first episode, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what other transformations this new Kamen Rider is going to have. What villains, what other villains shall he fight? What rival characters may, what rival characters may or may not be? Will there be more common writers? Because certain series do that. Um, and uh, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm just very interested in where this is gonna go. Also, I may get, also I may get some common writer merch. Yes, it's in. Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go grab me one of those like. You know, I'm not gonna grab me a figure. You know what I'm gonna. You know what I'm probably gonna go grab. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And uh, actually, someone has uh, asked me something that I haven't really acknowledged in a few, well, give or take a few years. Um, one person asked me, is Sega, is the Sega Kamen Rider the thing you've been working on? Is that happening? Uh, and 
only this one person asked me and they wish to be anonymous. And like, all I gotta say is the Sega Kamen Rider is not happening as of now. I have so many other things I'm working on and I kind of want to work on this, my Kamen Rider Silver idea first. Yeah, I kind of want to make a fan verse of like my version of Kamen Riders. I know, that's, I know, you're like, Bugsy, don't you, don't you have, like, a whole multiverse of other, of other characters? Yes, I do. But I kind, but I want to see how, you know, when I get around to it, I want to see how Silver Kamen Rider will do. Because, you know, I've never written a Toku, I've never written something that's, uh, Tokusatsu, so, it's gonna be kind of a learning experience for me, so, yeah. And because of that, I'm gonna be watching a lot of Kamen Rider stuff. And probably Ultraman. Lots and lots of Ultraman. So yeah, um, but yeah. But even though I am working on other things, it doesn't mean I'm fully gone. Like, because I'm still gonna be around, it's just like, dudes, I just been so busy and today kind of Today wasn't really the best day in the world for me, but you know what? Like, yesterday wasn't really the best day, but I feel like today is going to be pretty good. I feel it, guys. I feel it. And I might just hang out here. You know, I might just take a break today, make a Monster Rancher video, and then hang out here for the rest of the day. You know. Come up with some more ideas to stuff that I'm working on. And also, there's like this unofficial Homestuck collection, and I don't know what the I don't know what that is. It's supposed to redo some of the gifts and images from Homestuck. I don't really know what that's about, and I tried to look around and see if that you know if they can explain it. You know, it's the they say it's the best way to read Homestuck. In 2021, I don't really, I don't really know, but I'm going to, try, I'm going to test it out and see what's really like, what is it really? So there's that. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be playing a lot of core games as well. Probably just Overrun because it's, it's like Call of Duty Zombies, and even though, let's just say, my little, my little brother back in the day. Drove me insane with Call with Call of Duty Zombies to the point where I just kind of had like this aversion to it. No, like real, like real stuff. Like I love Call of Duty Zombies, but when my when my little brother was actually little, it was just he'd be like zombies, zombies. I'd be like, bro, I'm doing a video, Call of Duty Zombies. I'd be like, oh god. And because he's the, and because he was the baby of the family, I just had to, I had to comply. <laughs> or he would narc, he would narc to dad on me. But that's another, that's probably not going to be explained too much. But yeah, been playing that. Like Core has a lot of good games, but eh, nothing I would really. Nothing that I would really want to make. Well, there's this one star colony, but I want to give that its own video. Also, I have a bunch of Minecraft stuff in the works. So, that's going to be fun. There's this thing called Mine Chefs and Monsters, and I really want to give that a shot. So, you know, may do something like that. I don't know about these 100 day challenges, though. I've been thinking about doing one, but it has to be one I am like... One that I'm kind of familiar with, so I know the best way to do some, doing what I need to do. Probably I won't do like the apocalypse mod because fuck, because fuck, man. I like I tried playing that the other. I played that a few months ago, like a, yeah, like a month ago now, and like what I did is like there were zombies and I freaking hid in a, like a little hut. And I was like. They don't go away. They don't go away when the sun comes up. You know, they'll burn. But no, 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 they were still there. And I had to dig my way out. And digging my way out wasn't a good idea. Because I digged, like, maybe, like, one layer deep. So they just, like, busted through and just, well, 
the rest is history. But, I don't know, like, there is also, like, Pixelmon, and, you know, I, I kind of want to do a Pixelmon kind of thing. And there's some Digimon mods, so I might do some of that. Also, there is Mindstuck, which is another thing I want to do. But I want to have more people, because with Mindstuck, I actually need more people. You know, anybody that's a Homestuck fan, uh, you know why. I think it worked, because Spurvecraft basically, uh, Spurvecraft or Mindstuck, uh, but po mostly I'm gonna try and get Spurcraft together, and uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go about it that way. I do have other obligations outside the channel, so it like again if there's like a day if there's like a few days where I don't make a video, I'm pretty much working on some other stuff, unrelated to the channel, but something. That I have been um, low-key low devoting my little bit of my time to. And I can't really tell you what that something is. But, let's just say, it makes a little bit of... It makes certain things I've been doing worthwhile. And it's good practice for other things I'm working on. So, yeah. And for those people that have been asking me, Buggy, Buggalo, Bugaman. No, actually someone has called me Bugaman. I, I don't know who's written, I don't know why, but they're like, dude, you ever going to, you ever going to do like, uh, you ever going to do more um, soccer war stuff? Like with the Paris, with the uh, New York version? I'm still going to do that, I just haven't found time, and I'm just <laughs> accepting more stuff, but we'll get back to Soccer Wars. Don't you worry. We're still on Super's thing, and I had to end the stream early for a lot of other, for a bunch of different reasons, so we will be getting back to that soon. Some people, like, everybody keeps on asking, like, everybody, some people get annoyed when I talk about Soccer Wars, while other people are kind of interested because some people are just like Bugsy please please man please tell me please tell please tell me about the Sonic about the Sinos you didn't really do much in Sage and I know I didn't but um there's the Saturday M game there's the Saturday M RPG game I still have and I want to do that on an appropriate time Um, so there's a lot of things I'm currently doing <laughs> and stuff I do want to, and stuff I really still want to do. I just, I want you guys to know it's, I'm just like doing other stuff. I did get a new subscriber, which I am really happy about. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I really think the Jaden animation video I did really like, I don't know, one per like a bunch of people didn't like that. Or just one person. Let me look. I, I'm probably over exaggerating. Let me look. Let me take a quick little look. Um. But I kind of culminate the whole like I lost a. I lost the subscri I lost the subscriber when I did the Jane animation video. Although I see a lot of people have been looking at the fan bad basher rise, the fan night rises, uh, my Ian Flynn and Chamber of SGW idiots. I mean, if you want to be, but if I had to choose which one of my fan bad basher videos I liked the most, I would have to say the fan night rises simply because. It's just me talking about freaking, it's me making my usual jokes and me just kind of hating on uh, Jonathan H. Gray because like literally I don't like the guy, he chain blocks people for doing, for doing, because people be asking him about the Sally thing and a bunch of other stuff. 
Like, how many dislikes did I get up? Yeah, I got, like, two. <laughs> because, like, the Janet, like, people don't understand, like, the one thing I just had to say, like, I have, like, last thing, last thing about the whole Janet animation thing, even though I really didn't need to clarify it, but I wanted to just say it, I just feel like a lot of people need to understand that when you're on the internet, you're going to see, you're going to see, you know, not safe for work images wherever you go. You just got to be careful. And they ain't looting the, like I said before, they ain't looting the actual, like, Jane, Jane animations. But I feel like other people just feel like, oh, well, you're part of a problem. Or, or maybe they just didn't, or maybe they just didn't like me anyway, but I wanted to kind of sort of set that straight. It's like, guys, either way, there will be, there will be, like, not safe for work images for, there will be not safe for work images for everybody who is famous and who has an avatar. It's just gonna happen. But they're not looting the actual person, just the avatar, the, the, the little mascot, the person represent, the little mascot, but not the actual person. And I just feel like certain people need to understand that, you know, it's not the artist's fault that they want to draw whatever they want. <laughs> and like Jane, you know, in that one interview she did try to, she did say she would probably want to stop it or just want to keep it in the way, keep it out of the way so her family don't, so her like extended family or her family don't look her up online and be like, why is your character got a thick, got a thick one? <laughs> like, seriously, though. Uh, it just happens with anything that has, anything that is uh, illustration and animation. You're going to see, you're going to see, you're going to see, you're going to see someone sexualize it eventually. That's what that's what I'm trying to say, and I was like, if any, like if any commentary channels wanted to go, you know, I'm just ready to fuck. I was like, I'm ready to fucking go either way. If anybody still wants to debate it, that's what I was like going because it's like, I hate that like a few commentary channels acted like, you know, acted like they were like the higher, they were like the moral. They're like the more like they're acting like they're the moral center of this. I'm like, boy, you probably, you probably, you probably done touched your smacking weapon to some of that stuff yourself. You don't want to talk about it though. That's what you did. Don't act like don't act like you didn't. Don't act like you didn't. <laughs> you know, I just didn't like them demonizing other artists for just drawing something. That because like. It's a drawing, okay? It's not hurting the actual, it's not hurting the actual Jaden, it's just a drawing. You know, but that's it. Um, what else do I want to talk about before leaving here? Guys, also, also, um, if, um, okay. If you see me on one of those Pixelmon servers, you know, please don't hesitate to talk to me. But no, but I am probably not going to ask you for a battle. <clears throat> because I'm still new to Pixelmon and I want, I'm still new to Pixelmon and I want to like level up some Pokemon stuff. But that's not the real thing. If you ever, like, if you go, hey, why isn't Bugsy making content on YouTube? Just go to, go to my website or BitChute, because I usually have something there. Whether it's character-based, um, or just stuff I can't really just show on YouTube. Go there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, there will still be content on this channel, so don't worry. This baby isn't going anywhere. But I just wanted to pop in and say, yeah. Videos may be a little bit sporadic, but I'm still here.
Peace. Okay, my mouse is doing its thing again.